They, are they all glitter, right? They are, These ones are all glitter embossing powders. Yeah. Look at that. Cool. So I've done a solid, so you can see what the colour looks yeah. like there, and then on a pattern as well, wow. just so that you can see the difference. I just love the colours. And look at the fine detail as well of the stamps. So you can see that it's, it's, it's you know, the detail it, of the stamp. It picks it, it up, yeah. It doesn't our powders are really, even our regular powders are really fine. It's also good to note that our powders are static free. Oh, yes. Yeah, the jars that they come in are static free. So we always ask you never to decant them. Yeah. We'd never ever want them decanted into Bigger plastic pots, yeah. pots or, you know, other containers, etc. Um, because that will just put all the static back. And if you use spoons, then use metal ones. Oh, metal. If you used plastic, again, that puts the static back. Um, I think um, beads um, uh, spoons that are usually metal aren't they the beads the yes. because they're sometimes so then look for those ones just uh, I, I get little kitchen measuring oh, spoons okay. That's good. just buy little uh, metal ones the names of each set uh, the embossing powder jars that you are getting in each set is at the bottom of the screen if you want and they have got beautiful names like mint chip cupcake heaven sugar almonds I mean but look how you can mix and match I'm just going very quickly through the samples fry the design team by the way, you have an amazing design team. Oh, we have got. Uh, do you know what? Just thank you guys to all our design team. They yeah. are fantastic. So this is our sweet treats. So shall we show you Christmas twist? Mm -hmm. uh, I am always, uh, I always am one for Christmas. It's because it's my birthday, but you know, everybody's trying to make that. But you, here you get Midnight Dream, Pearl Gold Sparkle, White Twinkle, Adventuring, Tafet. Taffeta, 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 Taffeta pink. pink and Ruby Romance. Isn't that gorgeous? Ruby Romance, I think, probably is my favorite. And I would imagine this is your favorite ad adventure. Yeah. Adventure. <laughs> you uh, yeah, I kind of there. Uh, so I'm going to show you a few of the samples using the Christmas twist. When you look at this first sample, they're not just for Christmas. Yes. So this is a new stamp set we've got coming out soon. So uh, you can just see that you can you know it's going to work nice for christmas that's why we called it christmas twist because it will work for christmas projects but also for many other things as well that is really oh so i love them see how uh, is, is that the which one is that that's the first the one pearl gold sparkle. wow it's a beautiful gold mm. in here yeah, well, it's a very soft gold yeah. isn't it it's lovely but, but this is um yeah of course it's not christmas that's just all year yeah. round <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of thinking, is that in the wrong pile? No, no, it's, no. it's the right, you know, it's no, the pink it's, just, it's nice to show the versatility yeah. of them. Oh, oh that that's brilliant, is isn't gorgeous. It? I should have done that for us. That's oh, just fabulous. Thank you. Right, so that's the option for a uh, Christmas twist. And then we are going to show you two different things. Can we hold that one up? Yeah, that would be you great. And this one has got a mix of, is it metallics and opaques? Or, um, mm -hmm. So you can see there the gorgeous. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? So, oops, sorry. That that's <laughs> <laughs> so that's a two different tea. There you have got the flame, the honeydew, the bark, apple red, uh, kiwi uh, crush, crush and sorbet. And sorbet is the only glittery one that's okay. in it. All the rest are plain. I'm going to show you this sample because I think it's just one of these gorgeous, gorgeous samples in there. Look <laughs> at that mix. Karen Rigategi, Rigategi, I think it's that sort of Karen. Uh, Karen, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that Karen. is beautiful. Um, but also, we have got different ways of using And I love how you can uh, st stand the same image. Oh, Jenna in did that. It's beautiful, isn't it? It shows them off perfectly. Look, oh, and this and is our Jenny. That is gorgeous with the. That's the flame. Yeah. It's, it's the embossing powder that gives you that metallic look if it's a metallic exactly, gloss yeah. enamel look. Yeah. And it, mm -hmm. Oh, and then on, remember that you can do ombre effects with on top of your die cuts. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how gorgeous in the background. And that effect is why you need embossing powders. And you need the best, which are the well embossing powders. I just love. Look at the different effects. And this, it's like having the ability to to create your own embossing powders by having a mix so then Absolutely. you can mix them up yep. and create yeah oh that is amazing anyway and um, this one was the tutti frutti um option and then final uh we know we have got two more options oh, now i oh, shall no, we, so we I go with that one so yeah. we have got only one sorry i get I'm getting confused it doesn't take long time <laughs> you know much to get me confused i think this is uh marion's favorite um <laughs> if i'm thinking of marion i always think of aquas and tea and beautiful turquoises 
and of course the silvers. Look at those gorgeous glittery uh, uh, colours as well. Do you have some holographic glitter in, in? Some of them we do, yeah. And one of them's got like mermaid tails. It's got some ultra you're gonna, high in it. Yeah. Oh, that's Give gorgeous. It a flick. And you can see they that there stunning. the difference. <laughs> and if you like those aquas and those beautiful turquoises, they are just gorgeous. I'm just going to show you a few samples now, I'm trying to show as much as possible. But look how gorgeous that embossing powder on top of your die cuts and the mix of different colors, how well it blends together. <gasps> On black, it's just amazing. <laughs> Different effects. It's just. So I'm going to talk to you about translucent and opaque when we do okay. the first demo. Well, this is the let it. We have got so much to see. So this is the let it go option. Remember, your item number is four six four one zero three. You have got those four choices. So you choose whichever uh, option you want to go. You are in each case, you are going to get six embossing um, powder colors plus the storage as well. So it's perfect whether you want to store the pots or something else. Uh, it's included in the price for 16 pounds and 50 pounds uh, 50 pence uh, plus pnp of course you are making a saving of three pounds now we have got uh, aside from embossing powder something that um, wow was a uh, wow uh, is really renowned for mm -hmm. is the sparkles yep <laughs> Do you want so, to say okay. tell us about this one? <laughs> so sparkles, if you're familiar with our regular sparkles, they're oh, pure it. glitters. There's no embossing powder in them and these are exactly the same. But we call these sparkles on steroids <laughs> because we've added other bits to them and they are just stunning. I love them. Yeah, Absolutely well, it, love them. It, this is a joke, obviously. They are super duper sparkly. And they that's are the other thing. Sparkly, it's just yeah. like, you know, when, you, well, this is like uh, glitters with five coffees and you know yeah. <laughs> like really sparkle and really hyper like me with an exci excited day like today uh, you can see the high shine the holographic which reflects different hues of light in there as you can see yellows coming through pinks and bright colors like greens and aquas it is do you need to use um, emboss uh, not, not embossing powder uh, double-sided tape or double-sided use double-sided tape you can actually put them in your embossing powders and oh, then make your really? embossing powder a sparkly embossing oh. powder yeah, just never go more than one to one on the ratios. It's probably best to go two to one with two to one embossing powder. Look, I mean, uh, I think uh, the camera does not do them justice. It doesn't. No. The sparkly <laughs> or the sparkliness of the, these uh, sparkles. Uh, it absolutely stunning. I just love it. Of course, shake a card. Yep. <laughs> uh, you know, sorry, just kind of. I just kind of spend the whole hour doing like that. But you can see them here. So of course, they don't have powder yep. in them so you can use them for your shake part and wow wow right so the and uh, you get six parts of the 15 mil uh, super duper sparkles and a storage case of course all that glitters the item number is two five four eight seven three you are saving three pounds you're paying 18 pounds and plus P and P uh, you can see exactly what the names of the uh, sparkles at the bottom of your screen I mean dancing green crown jewels I yeah. love those names <laughs> and you can see that butterflies which and um, I might be very familiar to to me uh, anyway <laughs> it's it's a die that I don't sign. <laughs> anyway, so that is the the sparkles. But now we are going. If you wanted to go for an embossing pad, and something really that you launched not that long ago, did you? Oh, what was it? Just over a year ago, yeah. I think. Or, uh, yeah, eighteen uh, yeah. months, something like that. It's absolutely. Uh, well, I have got a <laughs> thing of this, and can I open yeah, it and show? Sure. Why, why did you come up with this idea? Okay, so going back to the other ink yeah. pad that I used to use, to, th this is a refill system yeah. for our pad primarily. So you had to, it was in a little bottle and you had to squeeze it yeah. and it was a nightmare to squeeze it and then you'd get a credit card and spread it around and I didn't want to do that. I wanted something that was just going to apply it nice and thinly on there. So come up with the idea of a rollable yeah. system. But you can also use it freehand as well. This so is it's what got I two love. Uses. So it's a written code. And yep. uh, so is that what you use exactly. in this one? Yep. Yeah, our Ashley's done that. And it's just, you know, you can just add to yeah. it and it's, it's just brilliant. Just absolutely yeah. brilliant. Yeah. So you can see how oh, there's the, the scribble. So you basically kind of scribble. All that, along. I just used a heart um, die cut and I penciled round it and then I went round it with the rollable. 
Wow, so, and this one I love. I mean, I have to say this Jane sample. Dunlap, it's fantastic. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. So you can create your own artwork with it. Yep, it's basically absolutely. a pen, a ring, mm -hmm. a roll, and there's so much in there. So that is the item number is 410132, and you're getting the pad and the roll and of refill mm -hmm. uh, freestyle tool for £10.98. Uh, now, we have got another item in here that we want to mention before we go to demos, and we will get to them very quickly. Uh, is the melted pad and then the uh, what, how do you call this foil cases foil cases now melted is something that is kind of unique isn't it to mm -hmm. to a wow embossing powder we, we're the only ones that have got it yeah so what what it is exactly that makes it so special okay so it's really really fine if I can yeah you can open it and just yeah. show you it's like icing sugar yeah. isn't it yeah. yeah if you call it there yeah Oh, that sorry, it's yeah. like yeah there it is look <laughs> at that it's like proper it is the finest thing i have ever seen but why is well we'll explain it later during the demo because we we'll want to it, get yeah. to the demo i'm just going to give you the details because it's it's 135534 and it has got an amazing freedom price is there in there as well so 1282 pence is your price if you are a freedom member of course it includes pmp but if you're not a freedom member you still can get it you just pay a little bit more like 13 pounds and 49 now we are gonna there is a lot more on the website that you can see there now we can uh you can see the Molds, which is exactly what we are gonna be seeing next as well the melted so we are gonna explain how to works there are some pick and mix and boss uh, stamps as well there are some new options as well that we haven't seen before and of course we have got the two packs of a4 card in there 25 uh, sheets in each pack so you're getting 50 in this bundle it's ultra smooth it's perfect for uh, stamping and embossing there is beautiful impressions that you are getting there and it's 250 gsm I believe mm -hmm. Yep. So you can get uh, different, uh, you know, for different techniques as well. <laughs> now, uh, of course, shop ahead because we are, of course, when Marion is here, we are very busy. Uh, we are going to get back to demo mm -hmm. and we are going to be seeing, uh, we're going to be using the melted and the molds as well. Yep. So, okay, so if I just show you from the beginning, mm -hmm. so I'm going to take a foil tray and I'm going to make a little spout in it. So I just put my finger in like that just to make a spout and then I'll put a peg on the yep. other side so I'm keeping my hand furthest away from okay. it now dependent on colors I've done yep. these little balls oh this is really which actually show you yeah. what mm. um, they're gonna come out like because they will come out different when you yep. see just the normal melted powder so if I'm gonna show a show here for instance what Mario means is that well Mario you're gonna explain sorry not means <laughs> sorry um, you know uh, for 5 a.m. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, brain at the minute um, this uh, how I'm going to show you the board as well because it's just like the, if you're using the embossing powders on their own this is the board that how it shows the embossing powders on the are if you're mixing them up with the uh, melted you can see still it, it changes slightly sometimes in more or less look at that one that one changes a lot more the bark for instance can you see that it's all uh, to do with the opacity of the powder or if it's translucent yeah that so is just I'm good. gonna grab yeah one of my faves oh do you have got them Let's in go. there yep, yep. So I'm going for Neptune. Twenty percent of the melty has already sold out, <laughs> you know. And that that is is new today to Hochanda, isn't yep. it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I, yeah. So I've used um, a teaspoon, so a metal spoon, and I've just put a couple of spoons in there. Now, dependent on how deep you want this or how light you want it, is dependent on how much you put in there. So yeah. I could put, if I can lift that, I could just put yeah. that much in. Yeah. If I want it deeper, I could add yeah. a little you, bit more. You okay. mentioned that you use metal spoons, but of course, by using measuring spoons, it means that also you know exactly what exactly. You, you, you're yeah. using. Okay, the next trick to this is you want to stir it up. You want to get it all mixed in, and then you start looking at it and thinking, well, actually, yeah. where is it? <laughs> but it, it, will, looks... it will all appear like magic. <laughs> it looks so <laughs> really Okay. And then the, the other really important thing yeah. is you want to heat from underneath. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, the amount of times I've yeah. said don't heat from the top and people have gone in yeah, like It that. looks like so. you have a baking accident <laughs> yeah. otherwise, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put it on heat setting number two. And you'll notice I don't cover the vents on the yeah. heat tool. That's so really important. The heat tool uh, comes in the bundle that is on the screen at the minute. Mm -hmm. 
So I hold it in one position and you can see I'm very, very close to it. I'm not actually touching it. Yep. And what's going to happen is it's going to start melting from underneath. So it looks like nothing's happening at the moment. Yes. I can start just slowly yes. moving the heat tool around. And bear in mind, I should have probably prepped this heat tool by heating it up beforehand because yes. it's had nothing on there. Let's see if I can... There we go. You can see it's starting to melt now. And what will happen is it will start oh, moving. Yeah. Sorry to the camera, guy, because... <laughs> So the melted, I'm going to be moving yeah. it around. The melted is translucent, or uh, transparent, yeah? Okay, so melted is transparent, uh -huh. yeah. So it's got a slight yellow to okay. it if you just used it on its yeah. own. Um, but the opacity comes from the powders, oh. if they're opaque powders. Okay. So they could be translucent powders. So for example, yeah. on that, see the orange heart? Yeah. And look, that's it. So that's both using flame, mm -hmm. which is from the Tutti Frutti set. Okay, yeah. And I've used a much smaller amount in the heart, yeah. so that's more translucent. Oh, I see. Yeah? That's than it. the ring. This one, this Neptune from the Let It Go, can you see yeah. how it's going whiter oh, now? Oh, yes, yes. So when something's opaque, generally it's got like a white core to uh, it so as you melt it yeah. the white starts coming through so it's like adding a color to white paint mm -hmm. yeah so the way i sort of look at melt it is it acts to me like it's um a carrier think of essential yeah. oils yeah. And things or, like or that. maybe yeah. a binding a kind yeah. of thing yeah. so yeah. It, it carries the product yeah. so i'm just going to pour it i keep but, my heat yeah. on I'm going to pour it straight into the centre. Now, these, these moulds, we have them on the show. On the website, you can see each of the moulds. Yeah, it's a pick and mix of three, so you can choose whichever three. They are, uh, you were saying that they were food safe as well, so you could Absolutely. use them. Yep. Yep. So if you wanted to use yep. them for chocolate yep. and things yep. like that, do little kids' parties yep. with them. And now you are put holding. Put specs on. Yep. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make it into a little ring. Now, I don't have to rush because the last bit to go is going to be the middle bit because that's the yeah. deepest bit. Do okay? not touch this, please, if you're no. using embossing powder. Notice I'm using a peg yeah. to hold the ring because when I first ever done it, I held it in my fingers and heat conducts through metal yeah. and it burns. Yeah. So. <laughs> I learned my lessons uh, very early on. And just... Another thing I do, I never throw these away. Okay. I will just write underneath, like with a Sharpie, the yep. colour that I've used, because I can just keep reusing it. I can just add more yeah. to that. I could just add more melt it to okay. it and make it lighter the next yep. time or just add more colour. Now, so you're holding it there yep. until it cools down and solidifies yep. it? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a little wiggle and I'll feel it start sort of grabbing it in a moment. Okay. It takes about a minute to set, uh, something and like that. W do you know the name of that mold that you have are using? This one is the Rose Quartet. Okay, so that's one of the options of your pick and mix. So then we have got the option of this one that I'm showing. That's the pansy, which I'll show you. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, but I've got a board down there oh. where I've done all the oh, shapes. Oh, okay, well, I'll show so you. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to, you know. Okay, like, that's, that's Richard, my boss. That was his oh. idea at a show once. And he was like, Look at that. we could make it into a poppy. Look at how so gorgeous I done that, that is. the other day. It's just fabulous, isn't it? And then Absolutely that's brilliant. That's the dolly. I will show you exactly what we have. But uh, then we have got the bows, the little bows in there. And then the other option, the final option, is the hearts, which is that one in here. So that's... And you can uh, choose whichever three of them in for 10.99. So this is a great value. And you can imagine how many brooches and earrings and, and rings you can make. So you can make jewelry with it. You can just do embellishments with it. These you can do with um, the little paper clips. Paper yeah. clips that's yep. the word. <laughs> um, and put them in your planners oh, and things like that. Oh, that's great. So I mean, I love uh, this. We've made a brooch yeah, out of it. That's so gorgeous. Perfect yeah. for, for a few yeah, weeks' remember, time. Yeah. Um, so. Now, so now it's set. But I don't want to touch this yet because it's going to be very hot. Okay. okay? So I'm just making sure. Yeah. So if Could I always you, sort of just use my spoon. Can, can I be like, um, I have got a slight, um, you know, oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm just going to I'm, I'm not going to, yeah. So I don't burn myself on it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? You know how much you pay for those enamel embellishments? Do you know what's great about this though? So say I've only got one ring base. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't want to use this colour now because I'm wearing 
this yeah. colour. So I can literally just knock that off. Yeah. Throw it back in there. I can remelt it oh, at another day and then just make another one. So, so it's you get no wastage with it. That's what I love about it. It's basically no a waste. resin that you can reuse and reuse yeah. and remelt and yeah. you know like with with a normal resin. Yeah. Once it takes 24 hours to set, once it's set, you can't do anything with it. This you can remelt you, it. You, you, not, you know, another question I have mm -hmm. is that these ones that you have got here, they looked a little bit more <coughs> matte. Yeah. And and you explained me something, but I forgot mm -hmm. exactly okay. what it was. So okay. if you wanted to bring it to shine, what did yep. you need so to do? So I left these like this on purpose, and you can see how shiny this is, for example. Purely when they're sitting in there, if they're yeah. sitting in there for too long, there's no air getting to them, no oxygen as such. So when you take them out, they lose their shine. Uh -huh. So all you have to do, and this is where you'd probably use setting number one. You just mm. put it on number one and just okay. give it a little zap again. Don't overdo it because you'll melt it back down. If you do, you just pour yeah. it back in again. But you just give it a little zap and it shines it back up. So, uh, that's yep. in quick and easy. Now we are extremely busy for the embossing powder, so I, I'm going to go through the options that you have got. Now uh, here we are, I'm going to show you the board, the proper <coughs> boards as well. So I'm kind of going to go in. Just let me grab them. So, uh, then let's just grab the boards in here. Sorry, I'm just kind of going <laughs> forward. With them. I'll it's sorry. This is how it seems. <laughs> nobody there. Um, now let's see, see. So then we have got a tutti frutti, and I'm just going to show you as well that if you go for the, for the embossing powders as well as the melted you have got the option to have a stamp and embossing with the embossing powder so we have got here the honeydew the flame then we have got here bark apple red uh, kiwi crush and sorbet and of course the different options with the melted you can see how beautiful they do how three-dimensional create your own enameling things so it's a beautiful bundle in there if you go for the embossing powders the melted as well as the molds now then we are going to go for the christmas twist um so this is a really popular option in here all of them contain glitter and they don't this they? one does yep and i love how it's christmassy but with a twist. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I wonder why you chose that. <laughs> Did you come up with the names then, Mario? Do you know, I can't remember. We all, and some of my girls in my classes all come up with names for me, and we sit around in the boardroom and come up with names. But look at the venture in, and look how beautiful it looks on its own. And then mm. with melted, you have got different tones in there. And the white twinkle is like a silver proper snow yep. in there. Look at the different gorgeous colours. Now that is Christmas twist. If you want to. <coughs> to go in bless you or uh, this yeah, one is the bow. sweet treats um, now this is a brand new we haven't seen this one before so this option is called uh, sweet treats and all of them are glitter aren't they yes so then we have got mint chip you can see it there then we have got tangerine dream then we have got picnic basket then we have got frosting then we have got a sugar almond and then we have got cupcake heaven look look at the diff is, is it I know. now i have a question could mm -hmm. you mix a little bit of melted to, to the embossing powders to extend their life further as a regular embossing powders i've never ever thought of that okay <laughs> Okay. Right. That's very frugal and a very good well, idea. Well, I don't like you know it when would, it is a it little would, bit. Um, I think it would lighten it down. So, like yeah. when we're doing this, if we're putting like a, a half a teaspoon yeah. of the embossing powder in, yeah. and then we've done one with um, an eighth of a teaspoon, yeah. you're going to get a much lighter version because obviously the ratio of melt yeah. it is more yeah, yeah. so you're diluting yeah. it yeah so more. then we have got let it go which is your favorite yeah. which is those beautiful <laughs> aquas and teals i just think that imagine at home you have got the embossing pads you can stamp on it with any of sand that you have got with the embossing pads in there and you get that fine detail with the glitter already in it and of course once you heat it the glitter doesn't fall no. off does it no because it's encapsulated within mm -hmm. the embossing powder and of course you have got those gorgeous three-dimensional embellishments that you, you will need the melted as well as the molds to create but 
it's just such a multi it's a multi-medium isn't it oh, because totally yeah because it's flat it's a stamping but it's molds it's three embellishments yep. it's just mm -hmm. so much you can do yep. of course that is the gorgeous embossing powder options in each in each of the sets you are getting six of the 15 mil pots in here and as well as the storage case the item number is four six four one zero three and it's for 16 pounds 50 if you go to the website you can see exactly which option exactly which ones you are getting there um, you can see in there all the different uh, uh, pots in there as well the different ways that you you know all the uh, contents as well um, the let it go is one of the favorites of course with those beautiful aquas and pros in there pearls and yeah. silvers <laughs> I know right it's just it's your favorite isn't it Marion is just what have it right um, so what are we are you gonna okay, do so next? I'm just gonna show you like just to explain again, yeah. Like, so if I do the heart, for example, um, do you want to choose a colour? Uh, well, yes. Uh, uh, well, knowing me, I will go uh, for what's the red um, that there is well, in? Look at, look at your little boards. Uh, yeah. And then you I, can think, from there. I think. Oh, shall I go for that one? Oh, I don't know. Just give me too many choices. Um, <laughs> Okay, I'll go for this one. Ruby Romance. Ruby Ooh, Romance. I'll go for Romance for once. Okay, so I'm just going to do this size heart. Okay. This, this is, comes with, is it eight or something? Mm, two, four, six, eight. eight. Eight little hearts. Fantastic. Yeah, different sizes. So to get like yep. this, uh, you know, you have got to switch any size. So I'm only going to put a hmm. little bit in, or do you want it deeper? I like a nice deep, deep dark. Deep? Okay, we'll put yeah. a little bit more in. Yeah, have you still never need to use loads. <laughs> Yeah. Um, if you could grab that board down yeah. there, see the mould board. Yes, I will. Yeah. And then you can see them all. Yeah, I will. In their Sorry, shiny I splendor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So same thing. Just gonna go from yeah. underneath. Again, I never worry if I put too much in there because I can just yeah. reuse it again and again. So okay. you don't need to throw away uh, um, your foil cases, just right underneath on them. Uh, I, I, you know what, I, you told me that, uh, you told me that years ago, and I still use them, I have got the same. So it is a great bundle in yeah, there as well. Keep going. Yeah, so you get them mounted as well as, how many of the, the metal cases? Ten. 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 Yeah, ten. The details are coming on the screen as well. And the melted half jar. Of it, half of the stock has already gone. Wow. <laughs> So 1349, you are getting, the pot is a really large pot, it's 160 mil. I'm going to show you the pot. You Let get me show 40 you. teaspoons, like 40 flat teaspoons Okay, so a, a pot, I mean, this is power size, this mil. is a bigger, you know, yeah. look at that, look at that. So you can see how much, yeah, this is my size, this is regular size here, so, so that is how much um, melted you are getting. And of course the mold uh, options as well, so there is different ones in here. You can see that it's a heart, and uh, remember it's a pick and mix uh, bundle, so you choose whichever three molds you want. So for instance the heart in here, that's the heart one, and you can see all the gorgeous glosses, oh that's beautiful. Then we have got, do you have got the flowers in there as well, oh there's so many options. But, Okay. Sorry, I so, was talking. No, it's all right. So you always pour it straight into yeah. the centre and it will find yeah. its own level. And then if you want to make it into a little pendant, uh -huh. I'm just going to roll a cocktail stick into the ah. embossing pad. I'll put my glasses on for this. Why would you do that? It's getting old. Because we don't want it to stick. Ah, and the embossing So then I'm just going to push that in there and that's going to set around it. Yeah. And hopefully I pushed it hard enough in yeah. there. Again, if, if I've done it wrong and it yep. sticks to it, I'll just melt it back down again. So I'm just yep. going to hold that, the same as like I did with the ring base. Yep. And then what's going to happen is when this comes out, it's going to have a hole through it. Yep. And then you can yep. put a little little ring, ring through ring, it yeah. so you can make a necklace yeah. out of it. That's yeah. very clever. I would have never thought of using a cocktail steel and running through it. Well, that just sort of gives it like a resist. Yeah stops it sticking. I have a question from mm -hmm. our director Emily. She's really into, she, she has got great questions as well and she's wondering how did you do multicolors into the molds? Okay so this one I've yeah. multicolored. Yeah. So that's by putting, um, I used Midnight Dream and Sea Glass in that one but what I did yeah. I actually, I didn't mix it up 
Okay. So there's a couple of ways you can do it, but I just put Midnight Dream either side and then sea glass in the middle and melted it so that as I poured it, yep. it comes out. Can you see? Yep. From there. there it is. Yeah. Oh, you can see there the two colors. But I think what she meant, no, well, I'm not sure oh, if what, what she, she meant mean, <laughs> is this one. Sorry, sorry, that <laughs> one. I think she meant this oh, one. That, as okay, well. Richard's, um, yeah. Richard's well, I mean, it's it, great. Puppy, she she, she yeah. says that, oh, thank you, because that was her next question to us, <laughs> you know, that one. Yeah, but I she wanted to, yeah, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you just, not only you can read her mind, but you can read her in the yeah. future, which is an amazing <laughs> skill. Can you transfer that skill to Fantastic. me, please? Fantastic, I'll be trying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you, this one, I think she wanted Okay, so that is purely having three trays, yeah. one with bark in it, yeah. so you don't need a lot. Just, you just so you just pour it. Where's my little? Uh, yeah, the this yeah, one that pansy here. One. That's so you just pansy. pour it into yeah. that centre a little bit first. You can actually see the layers. Yeah. Then you make it the red one, so apple ah, red, so and then you, pour it yeah. into there. And again, you yeah. can see those layers. Yeah. And then you do the kiwi crush okay. on top. Yeah. And then you can either push the brooch in, the brooch back in, or just glue it on. Okay, that's so, yeah. that great. Nice that and simple, is, that's yours. So I hope, <laughs> Emily, I, that has answered your question. Um, you know, it's, it's lovely when, when you get um, the young ones as well, because she's pretty it's young. Nice. Yeah, to get into crafting as well. Okay, so that's my Amazing, the whole like, for me. But this is okay, so see, uh, just a second. Yeah, you can just yeah, go just through see it there. You can see there, so you can see that. There it is. Pierce heart. Yeah. That's like so, <laughs> narrow through the heart. <laughs> you could leave it matte like this if you like that look. It's or quite nice, isn't this it? This is where I was saying about you can just yeah. heat it back up. So I'm using heat setting number one. So the, the, the lowest. Yeah, speed. I, I do normally do it on two, but as I'm on air, I know it'll just melt again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> can oh, you see that, that shining oh, back up? Oh, yeah. And this is what so you meant you about the shine. Yeah. Then uh, just yeah. If you wanted to uh, go for the heat gun on its own, we have got the option to go for the heat gun. The one I'm using heat gun um, with the dual speed on screen right now is 2160. Obviously, the big saving is with the uh, the bundle with the heat mat as well as the um, embossing pad, which is that one as well. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty, no, really, it? really. Let me go. So that's ready to go into a little uh, necklace for you. Is it? Will it be? Will it be? It might still be warm, but it's not but sticky no, or anything. But no. this is the thing. It creates enamel pieces, basically. Exactly. In in what? In a yeah. minute. Yeah. Look at well, that. We've got customers that make this into jewelry and then they sell it at fairs oh, yeah. and that. Just which gorgeous. we love. <laughs> and of course you can just use them on your own cards and your mixed media, yeah. you know, yeah. thinking about your canvases and putting yeah. elements like that as well. Mm -hmm. It's great. Right, so we are going to let you set up for the next yeah. demo and Brilliant. then we are going to see uh, exactly. So we have got us, us um, I'm going to give you the, the uh, Item, the flexi. Okay, so if you are, we have mentioned flexi uh, options as well in the hour, but here there is a video as well how to make everything the flexi basket works at here at Hotunda. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. 
and that's how the plexi order works here at Hotenda. Right, uh, we have got the one embossing powder, a set of six uh, jars of 15 ml. We have got different options, so I'm going to go through the options that you have got. So we are going to start with the Tutti Frutti, which is the beautiful mix. You are getting one glitter and then the, uh, some metallics as well as some opaques. They are absolutely gorgeous powders. Now, remember, the embossing powders from WOW, they come in a jars that already have been coated um, or designed, so then there is um, there's very little static within the powder. So then you are going to get a crisp impression. Well, you stand first with an embossing pad, and then you are going to sprinkle your embossing powder, and you are going to have a really good uh, good color as well in there. Now this is the tutti frutti option that you are getting: the honeydew, the flame, the apple red, the bark, the kiwi crush, and the sorbet. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to try to go as quickly as possible, but also while Marion is resetting for her demo, but just to show you how you can just use the same stamp and then stamp it and then emboss it with different embossing powders from the set and look how well they match together, how gorgeous those muted colors, but also with the metallic color in there as well as you can see there the mix and you can stamp and emboss uh, twice in here as well with different colors. Now then that is the Tutti Frutti, then I'm going to show you the Christmas twist. In this, you have got the traditional Christmas colors, oh, of course, all of them in glitter, but also you are getting them the, the more modern colors for Christmas in there, whether it's that blue in there that is the midnight dream, the adventuring, which is that sort of turquoise, but with that glitter, and then it's taffeta pink, which is Emily's favorite, and ruby romance, which is my favorite, which is our deep red with glitter in there. But look how gorgeous that looks on vellum. That, per, you know, it has got that glitter, that shine, through it and of course you will be able to use any stamps that you have got at home just use a sticky ink pad of course the wow embossing one is one of the best ones in the market because it has got that open often time but your embossing powder will attach itself to the sticky ink and create that beautiful enamel look into your papers and it's just it's just kind of that really expensive look that is magical and every time that you use it you will be in wonder of how it all works now that it was a Christmas twist. Now we are going to see the sweet treats, which are the gorgeous. This is the brand new option for today. Remember, you are getting six pods of uh, 50 ml powders as well as a storage ca case to store all six pods in there. Look at those gorgeous pink, the purple as well in there. So you have got gorgeous ability to just imagine on your die cuts, um, use your emboss embossing pad and then sprinkle the, the powder and gives you that beveled edge, that enamel look, it looks like metal, it looks like something incredibly expensive and it transforms just plain paper into a beautiful sparkle. Mm. And then last but not least, because this is Marion's very own favorite, this is Let It Go. Those gorgeous teals, gorgeous turquoises and aquas with that glitter coming through, it, it redescent, it's a different warm colors coming through, more cooler tones in there. But look at that gorgeous, look at this, is just beautiful, isn't it? The design team, thank you so much from WOW. That's this, this is from somebody I know, this is from Julie Hickey, my friend and my inspirational Julie. This is from Jane Drake as well. And you can see how simple, just pieces of cards that suddenly transform it into really expensive glitter card that doesn't rub off. Now, this is the item number. Remember, you have a choice of four options in there. You are, in each case, you are getting six parts of embossing powder and the scale in storage a case. The item number is 464103. You're paying £16.50 plus PNP. Uh, but, you know, they are beautiful. Uh, with the focus. Now we have got the super duper sparkle. Now this also comes in a set of six uh, pots of 50 ml and its own storage case. But this is not a embossing powder. This is uh, basically glitter and confetti and tiny beautiful sparkling bits in there that you can use your own adhesive. Whether you are using PVA or sticky bag and then sprinkle it and letting it dry or whether you are using double sided adhesive sheets or um, uh, tape as well to add that sparkling detail. Look at that. This project is gorgeous. Little Christmas bubbles. You know, I suppose a PVA glue or a Mod Podge yeah. or something yeah. like that. And then dip them into the powder. And of course, look at that. Can you see that beautiful holographic hexagons in there shining through as little tiny stars and little speckles of pure, beautiful, sparkling uh, detail in there. Remember, you are getting six of them in there, so you are getting, I'm going to remember, Atlantica, Starlight, Flamingo, Crown Jewels, 
Dancing Green and Gold Rush. All those gorgeous located at Essence. Uh, the item number is 254873. Uh, the price is 18 pounds. You're saving three pounds. And remember, this is sparkles that you need to use double-sided adhesive or PVA glue, or something to, to glue them. It's not embossing powder. Also, in the very, very po popular is the Wow Embossing Powder, uh, Wow Melt It, which is an amazing product that allows you to create those beautiful enamel pieces like uh, with with mold but also it, it is a fabulous value for money as well you are getting a hundred and sixty mil of them sixty mil of the super fine powder in there as well as the 10 foil cases that allows you to create basically uh, a mouth pot in a tiny area and so you can have one for each color combination to uh, an amazing freedom price of 12 pounds and 82 and remember that is brand new here at Hochanda for us so you haven't seen it on Hochanda now also from WOW, we have got a pick and mix of uh, stamp sets. Now we have got a brand new option as well, so you won't have seen the, I believe that's the one, the bottom one that you haven't seen before, but you have choose whichever two stamp sets that you like. Now uh, we have got here, um, let's just start with our top one, which is a sparkle and shine, gorgeous. They have designed, they have been designed to a stamp and emboss. Obviously you can use them with any ink pad that you like to do. They are photopolymers, so they have got a clear um, impression every single time. But of course they have got a solid nature, some of them, those thick lines, perfect for those embossing powders. So it kind of stands out the gorgeous enamel look. Look at that. You think about embossing that with glitter embossing powder. How gorgeous is going to shine through for more modern um, Christmas cards or romantic. I mean that empty element and the, and the you can stamp that in a different color, the center and the outside. Really clever in there. Now that's the sparkle and shine. The, Another one that we just seen is Hearts and Twine that we just uh, seen. Then we have got Wall Art. Now this is clever. It has got the brick walls so you can build those patterns in there. But that gorgeous uh, sentiment that art enables us to, to find ourselves and to lose ourselves at the same time. Dream of painting, then paint, then you paint your dream. It's amazing, I love that. But of course that kind of works. I'm gonna show you exactly some samples. So you can see how you can use the, the you know, sentiment in there to use in the background, to mixing it up. And look at that one as well. Look how gorgeous those ones, those paint brushes in there. Now then bottom, you have got the, the oh, okay, that one. So we go to that one. That's the, yeah, the, this is go figure. Perfect background for so many elements. Anniversary cards, birthday cards, masculine cards, teenage cards, all those elements that you want to create a background that is as timeless, genderless that you can do for so many different occasions then of course we have got the Christmas options which is the Christmas bubbles so this is a new today you haven't seen before with those gorgeous sentiments in there as well and finally the last option we have got is fruit uh, for thought which is brand new as well which is that one which I just love because it has got a lovely sentiments as well best parents ever that is such a good love. I love you very much. Aren't you awesome? Uh, live happily. Uh, uh, you, are, you are the zest. I like that one. I really like that one. Anyway, remember that you can go for any two of the stamp sets that you have got and we have shown you. The item number is 450680 and your price is 14 pounds for both, for two sets in there. Of course, if you want to have a look how every, the pick and mix works, here's the website in which you can see all the options in there so you just click on the plus then you see that for instance the christmas bubbles and then you can go for maybe food for fruits for thought i like yeah uh, Ro our producer ross is going for the new ones um, and then add to the basket and you can see then it added oh, everything in there so and remember you can see there that your basket has been reserved for nine minutes that means that if you don't check out your basket within 10 minutes uh, of making the selection your empties automatically um, empty themselves which means that if we have got a busy show like today you need to check out your baskets as soon as possible otherwise you might lose and um, you might miss out on your preferred item now we have got about nine minutes okay so is uh, what are you want to demonstrate okay well this one is a really really quick card yeah. to demo and for you guys to make at home oh, right. um, using the sparkles now ignore the label on this these yeah. are so new 
yeah. the, these were what I was working with. Okay. You've got ones down there that have got proper labels okay. on them now, so. but they're literally that new, yeah. so they don't normally look okay. like that. <laughs> so <laughs> they are the super duper sparkles, are they? they? I, are love, I, sparkles. I, I just love the name. I just <laughs> think it's nice. It's just, uh, right. Okay, so all I've done, I've just gone ahead and die cut two butterflies yeah. out of a piece of card. It could, it, it could be any butterfly or any flower. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And then I'm going to take my Elizabeth Crafts double sided yeah. tape. I Absolutely love our elf. I love this stuff. Yeah, it is good. Now, if you do it directly onto your mat rather than on mm. paper, the yeah. idea is it shouldn't stick. So, not only is heat resistant, it's, it's stick resistant. Stick resistant, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to. Went a little bit big there, so I'm just going to snip. Yeah, that off, and then okay. I can just lift that off okay. of there. And then for quickness, I mean, we can use different colours yeah. if you like. This one I've used. What have I used here? Starlight and Gold Rush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll be on and this one because I yeah. love this colour, I'm going to use Atlantica. Uh, but okay. now I am going to yeah. use a bit of paper. Okay. Because I want to catch it all. And remember you are getting six parts of 15 ml of super duper sparkle. Super duper sparkle. Now what I would say is don't go directly on okay. from the pot. Start pouring it off Why and then go that? on. Because if all the the weight is all sitting like all the oh, these bigger bits are all sitting yeah. at the top as oh. you go like that you're just dumping all that in one place. That it. So whereas this way yeah. You're gonna get it sort of yeah, more even because it has got it's a mix of glitter and confetti. It's, so it's all glitters yeah. and confettis. Yeah. yeah. So of course, the, but it has got different weights. Yes. In, in it, so yeah. that that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna yeah. that little dust. Oh. I can take off little bits uh -huh, if I don't want those. How easy is it? That is so good. And then, and you haven't used that much. Is well, it? now have look, you? it's, all, it's I mean, all going back in the pot. And you have that's your pot. That's the pot that you have been that's using. That's what I've for, been using, yeah, for and my look samples how much and that. There is still there. So the other thing I'm going to do now, yeah. I'm just going to take a bit of thin foam. Uh -huh. Yep. And then, and then you're using do is that double sided tape or this is just a tape runner yeah i could use Elsie's stuff but i keep that for nice things yeah. like <laughs> <laughs> i know like we can eat like yeah when you want that through this i know what you mean if yeah. i go like that make sure that's why, like that. why would you use a foam um because i want to raise it off yeah um rather than just having like it's quicker on air to do this rather than doing little individual foam pads and then it just gives that raise to it that I like so I'm just gonna pop that on I didn't check to see whether I was yeah. up the right way I was up the right way yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I've already gone ahead and just stamped a little congratulations yeah. and this I have put little foam pads on mm, okay. and then yeah. I just yeah. like like using the big foam piece. I just like raising. So this things is up. basically a card that is just the waist of the die cutting butterflies, basically. Yep. Or any butterfly, mm -hmm. tiny tiny amount of a sparkle. So you and then a little bit of double sided adhesive sheet. If you, I yep. mean, if you wanted to use flat, you could just use it flat. It's just so so quick, so simple. Oh. And you just think of all the dyes that you've got and you know flowers hearts yeah. stars. and this is different so you use here antarctic is that antarctica atlantica atlantica sorry That's right. uh, and then that one what color was did you did you know which one is that was um starlight and gold rush <laughs> And look at that, it's just, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and look, I just want to show what oh. Marian is doing. <laughs> that is top curb number, you know, <laughs> amazing. Is it out to clean the uh, glitter? And yeah, basically what I do is I, I do this to clean my mat, to clean the glitter off. When it's all full up, I can just peel it off and then I die cut butterflies from it. Oh. So generally butterflies just works the best, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it just yes. looks really lovely. <laughs> I told you, Marian. 
Karen <laughs> was very, very clever and an amazing inspiration. Uh, I kind of, I just want to mention and the uh, pack yep. of two, the card. So all this card stock that you see, all our samples made with, and and what I'm using on the show is all from this it's super super smooth mm. it's absolutely gorgeous it's a lovely weight 250 yeah. it's a really nice weight um i just love it it's just perfect for embossing uh, 250 for me as a die cutter is great because you mm. can do construction boxes absolutely. Yeah. and and i would do base card as well like yep. if i did in half and mm -hmm. um can one question is super smooth for stamping as well that yep. do this stress ink blend well in here beautiful and the catherine paula ink oh, blend lovely yep it's they all blend really gorgeous on it you you get two packs of 25 so you get in tw uh, 50 uh, sheets in total uh you the price is uh, 11.98 for all 50 of them uh we uh, have got uh, the item number is 405 uh 341 and price is 11 pounds 98 is there any quick demo that you quickly can show us in you know can you just do a stamping and embossing absolutely okay so let's do the basic for you madam <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I mean, we. I have been to Marion's houses. You have been teaching me classes. Only one house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have an amazing <laughs> workshop place. You teach thank workshops you. as I well, do, yeah. and you are going to be at the NEC, aren't you? Yes. So yes, you are going to be doing make and takes as yes, well. Yeah. 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 And yeah. By well, we'll be demoing yeah. and all that. And so. also, we wanted to mention Donna. Oh, Donna, thank you for tuning in. Yeah. She tuned in from 4 a.m. Oh, her it, time from California it, this morning, so thank, thank you. you. <laughs> right, so stamping. Okay, I'm using Karen's new Christmas yep. bubbles set. Yep. It's a card that's yep. already down there. We have got a minute. So really, so, really yeah. quick and easy. Yeah, so, so sorry, just we're going to start it. All we get done. friends. Like, it's, it's, it's very, <laughs> you know. Yeah, we have got a minute. So okay, so I've to, already yeah. set this up. Against the clock. I'm making you work yeah, for yeah. it. Yeah. Could you grab me um, Ruby Romance okay, and yeah. go, or, or whatever you like, okay. actually. Okay, Ruby Romance. Uh, Ruby Romance. I'm just going to go sparkle. in for, I'm going to go for you, one of your favourites. I'm going to go for Calypso from Let It Go. I believe okay. it's Let It Go. Can I have two colours, please? Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's go in for this one as well. 35 seconds. So you stamp in there. I'm going to open this up. And then have got the paper ready to put in. So let's see. So stamp it. Stamp it down. Okay. Move it out. Yeah. A sprinkle over it. Oh, sprinkle it on. Okay. Shake off the 30 excess. seconds. 30 seconds, oh yeah. <laughs> okay. And then put that back in. Now, you can heat from underneath or yeah. from on top. It's entirely up to you. If you yeah. heat from underneath, just keep an eye on it. Yeah. Um, because if you're not watching, you can burn it. Yeah. And I just move it a little bit. What? And then once I see it go, like now, yeah. I'll just yeah, move we have got just seconds, so you are back at four. Back at four, four. yep. <laughs> you're then at four. <laughs> I apologize for that. It just, you know, Mario is brilliant. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, anyway, after this, we have got Cut and Go Pro monthly mega deal. After the silhouette cameo for lunch, and then Ali Stitchy Fingers. Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. I'm Pat. I'm Mark. 
from Totally Patched. We're a family-based business here in Shropshire. We've been established for about 20 years. The, all of our kits uh, come pre-cut, meaning all the fabric is cut for the actual people who want to make the items, whether they be um, cushions, bags, quilts, or anything else you want to cast your creative memory or mind into. Most of the kits we produce we design ourselves. The design process is usually inspired by the fabric itself. We use only use great quality fabrics, 100% cottons. So, whether you're a beginner or an experienced sewer or quilter, we hope you've got something for all of you. Make sure you come and watch us on Huchanda. Hello there and welcome back. Well, here we are again. And that is your, well, I've wanted, it's your fourth live opportunity to see our monthly mega deal because you had six o'clock last night, yeah. eight o'clock last night as yes. well. Then we had nine o'clock this morning. So yeah, this four is the one o'clock one, four. four. I've been incredibly busy with though with this deal because it is designed to be a whole month's worth of stock. And within those four live hours, over half the stock has gone. I it's know. been a popular one. It has been popular, but, you know, I'm really not surprised because it is a beautiful looking machine. And mm -hmm. I have to say that... Okay, we like what it does, but it does look good. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, it's kind of a styling, and this is going to sound really deaf, but my food mixer at home, it's a retro oh, style. Oh, I can imagine. But it's a similar sort of style. It's yes. very kind of in keeping with any home decor. It is, yeah. And it's nice, it's round, it's nearly, it's really robust. The handle, I as I said, chrome you've seen handle. how mm. I've used two fingers and just yeah. my thumb to push that around, um, my dies through. It is a lovely machine. But one of the best things that I love about it is the fact that it is a wider machine, so it will take those bigger yes, dies. And that is a big thing. It because is. Because I know a lot of us have invested in mm -hmm. quite expensive machines that only take the thin dies. Mm -hmm. And then Good we're point. kind of stuck on where we can go with our crafting. Very true. Very true. Now, with this one, it's going to accommodate not only those thinner dies, it's also going to accommodate things like your embossing folders. And talking of which, you're getting both of those in this bundle as well. You are. We are getting the star embossing folder mm -hmm. for happy birthday and we are also getting a little birthday candle the birthday, that's I couldn't think what they were <laughs> I could see them and I'm thinking I don't can't remember what, what they were. are uh, but, but the embossing <laughs> folder gives you that incredible um, embossed feel as you can see to you you can't stop there of course for every emboss you have a deboss on the other side there so it might be that you're adding in things like your paste to kind of show that relief off but as Nikki quite rightly said two of the most useful dies you could possibly own happy birthday being one of them so perfect for your birthday cards and then alongside there you've got your little candles there I like these kind of funky little candles they are quite funky aren't they and they're nice as well because say if you've got an eighth birthday you put mm -hmm. eight candles on yeah, it. You want 56 birthday. Keep you going. You want 56. Yeah, just keep on going. <laughs> well, this is it now. But cool. yeah, they're a bonus. We're speaking about um, the Cut and Go Pro. Now, I know that um, our lovely Paula was talking about this because she had the fortunate situation where she was able to use this when she was using she it with did, prototypes. Yes. And she was talking about the pressure of this being it is. It's, it's, a, it's, more so than she's experienced previous. It is very good pressure on it. And it only goes to prove when you start using some of the intricate dies yes. where you're going to see point. that it has got great pressure and you know one thing that I love about a smaller machine is because with the A4 machine we always say that the pressure it, it tends to be a, at a certain point yeah. in that A4 so you've got a bigger area and plus as well the more you use it the less pressure you've mm -hmm. got you've got a smaller amount here as well okay. so it covers more of the dye does that make sense yeah yeah to it you? does because it's kind of the same pressure but in a more condensed area yes but in a area. more condensed area that's that's correct makes sense um, and but we haven't even also, spoken about the plates yeah because the thing is with the plates that you're getting you're getting your A plate Mm -hmm. And then you're also getting two B plates, and then you're getting a C plate. So I think it's B and B that you use for embossing folders, B and C that you're going to use for your thin dies, 
And then if you've got really intricate dies, you're going to use the metal place that, plate that comes along with it as well. So that's like a shim. But you know where we use the shim and you put a bit of cardboard mm -hmm. or 300 GSM piece of card through? and then the die cuts through and it gets a bit messy, you've got the metal shim that adds to that pressure. That's it. Um, it's tricky to see mm. with those clear plates, but you have got differences of thicknesses dependent on how little or how much you need. But as you say, teamed up with that metal plate there, you're covered for all eventualities. You are covered for everything. And the thing is, we're talking about it being a smaller die cutting machine. Technically, it's not, because the cut area that you've got on this is kind of a, a standard size. You it think is. about those smaller in, um, die cutting machines where that first flexi buy, 25 pounds, is probably what you'd be looking at Yes. Now you have got yeah. two flexi buys on this, so you'd have the second payment in a month's time. But I know personally, I would much rather be going for a die cutting machine that's probably got what about five and a half inches um, across there. Don't know the exact uh, die, um, measurements there, um, but you know some of them have only got like two and a half inches, yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. For that twenty-five pounds, that's all you'd expect to get. But with this. First payment, obviously, with you, um, post and packing, and the second payment is in a month's time. But it is a brilliant deal. It's one that you've been loving. Details on your screen there, 964729. We're going to head over to the demo area and put this machine through its paces. But what about checking out some of these things? Storage. This is key. Once you start die cutting with this, you'll be cutting out so many different things. You will want to store these. So uh, lots of ways it can be stored. And we've got a few different options. So we're looking at the clear to start with. Now here you have got a fabulous um, selection of independent little storage boxes. They all click closed and you've got six of those. They can sit in that housing unit, which of course is a perfect way for you to keep them. Send a delivery with regards to these. So we're looking at extra nine days because the stock is coming over from the Netherlands. But 997222 is that item number but if you like him the look of those but you fancy a bit more color then this is the one to go for same price with this one so 17.99 again nine days extended delivery with them again but 206063 and then if you're thinking well it's all well and good but six boxes just ain't enough well how about 16 of them 39 pounds and 99 pence 257997 will get you two repeats of each of those eight colors as you can see and of course if you do want to go for more than one of those you can and that carries Kate, it's got a little handle on it as well. Very, very portable. Now, this hour we have got a couple of happy hour deals for you as well. So I'm looking at this gorgeous pearlescent cardstock here. Two different colour tones we've got. This is nice. This isn't is it? luxury. Again, I love anything that's got glitter or pearlescent or it's got a shiny bit on it. Love this. This is would be great for your wedding invitations, Gorgeous, your yeah. christening cards, mm -hmm. your wedding cards. Now you can see we've got two different colour tones. So you've got your latte, your latte shimmer there, kind of got that kind of a creamy cop uh, coffee kind of tone, haven't you? Oh, I nice like that one. So yeah. You've got two way, um, two lots of your cards up here, and then this particular one. I'm gonna flip it around because this one has got your gold shimmer. You can just about see that on that there. So it's your That's ice gold beautiful. with that one. A hundred sheets for this hour and this hour only. Nine pounds and ninety eight pence. Twenty pounds saving, or twenty pounds and two p to be yeah, um, precise. <laughs> Those pennies make a difference, don't they? Look after the pennies, as the saying goes. So that's the that one on your screen there. But then we have another one. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. These are beautiful. Now, look at these. Wow. wow. Now, here you've got I a mixture of different it. weights. It's really smooth, isn't it? It's lovely. Well, with this one, you've got a mixture of cardstock, you've got a mixture of paper as well. So, if you are thinking about any special occasion, weddings especially. Yes, yeah, so you've yeah. got your insert sorted, you've got the outer edges, mm -hmm. um, outer card sorted, you've got your die cut sorted. You certainly have. And as you can see there, again, the details on your screen 220 sheets, ranging from your paper 120 GSM through to your cardstock of 300. Again, phenomenal saving. You're looking at a £40 saving with that and again any of these that we're looking at you can put them through your printers um, if you're looking at inkjet or perhaps laser printer dependent on the style of your printer you should be able to feed even that 300 GSM um, at 082830 but again for this hour and this hour only and we are busy for those so I'll keep you updated on those. Oh, so Nikki like what are we up to? I like a little bit of paper and card. Oh, it's nice, it's not it easy is, isn't it? Is. It's yeah, nice to work with. you want to try stamping on it, mm -hmm. you stamp on it and colour it you get a really beautiful it kind of gives it a metallic it does, look, yes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Like yeah. that. Okay, right. What we've we got to the machine. Right. As you said, it's the look of it, it's the feel of it. And what, again, I really like about it is because I'm not very big, mm -hmm. I haven't got particularly long arms, so I'm not stretching over to a long cool. plate. But it's got a lovely feel about it. Um, the, the handle, the crank of the handle, it doesn't make that a noise. It's mm -hmm. not loose and when you get yours your handle isn't going to be fixed but all you need to do 
is the there's a little screw thing and an allen key and you just pop it in turn it with the allen key and then this gray thing here just pops in the end to cover that up very stylish therefore if ever ever it did become loose because mm -hmm. maybe you might use it a million times a day like i do you can just <laughs> undo that tighten it up with your allen key and, and pop away that back you in because i sometimes forget about that well this is it now looking at the base there you've got oh, those yes. sturdy rubber feet there and i'm glad you've done that because when you actually look at the footprint of this and i often talk about how much area it's taking yes. up because yeah. many of us haven't got unlimited space for crafting if mm -hmm. I bring in an A4 sheet you can see that is pretty much going to cover the base of that but not much more than that so if you consider that is the amount of area that you need to house this mm -hmm. die cutting machine it's not much room at all is it that it's taken up no and like I say it's going nowhere I say that, <laughs> then I've got to knock it off. <laughs> but it isn't. It is really sturdy, and because it's got those rubber bits on the bottom, look, it's not. I'm just look, that confident. I can't move it. it. Yeah. I could just. Right. So you have your A plate, and that's the one that you're going to use for most of your die cutting. Okay. All your thin dies, you're still going to use it as well for your embossing. So this is kind of a, like a platform to fill in some of that space that you've got it to is. the thinner dies. Yes. Okay. So. And then you're going to need your B plate, and then when you do some die cutting, so I'll grab some card. Let's do something a little bit fancy. Should we do this? Do you want one? to use some of this card stuff that we've got? Oh, today? I've got some here. I've, oh, okay. I haven't got that one. Do you want yes, to? yes, please. I tell you. So this you're getting is 219. Right. You haven't now. been very kind, <laughs> have you? Right, so Haley's picked up the 300 GSM I'm taking. Do you think it'll work? Well, I'm going to give it a go. Okay. Because this is a really intricate frame die that we've got. And these, this one is on the show. We've got, I think there's five in total. Well, there's loads of different dies. We've had sellouts with some of those as well. Lots of um, branded names that I'm sure you will recognise. You'll find them all on the website. So, I'm going to use my metal shim. As I say, the metal shim, normally you would find that you'd have to buy it separately. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, incidentally, you are getting full instruction with these as well. And of course, it's up to you how you put that platform together, that sandwich as we often refer to. I know some people cut into the metal plate, but it depends on how you want yeah, it to so work. Yeah, so that's why I tend to do mine the other way around. Yeah. So you'll probably find, if you do read the instructions, the instructions tell you a slightly different way. Okay. Okay, but it's exactly the same feed. Right, so it hasn't quite cut out, so I'm now going to cut it round. Okay. And I've noticed you, you rotate it then as yes, well. Yes, always rotate it because then that gets a different pressure point in the machine itself. Okay. And don't forget, this is 300 GSM, so we are putting yeah, we're, we're pushing paces. it a little bit. Lovely. So just pop that through. So and you feel that resistance yes. as you're putting it through, but you're not forcing that no. hard stop through. And then I'm actually going to bring that back again, just to be on the okay. safe side. And oh, that looks good. I think it's done it. <gasps> I say mm, cause okay. I'm, well, you I can see at the edge there; it's lifted it, out. It has perfect. Wonderful. Right, so then all of this is going to come out. So you've even got a corner edge in here as well. Now, what you'll find is, as you find with the, both of these pieces that we're working with, um, you've kind of got little areas that get captured inside. It's purely down to kind of the, the fibres within the paper. But when you start kind of wiggling it, you'll see all those little elements pop out. I haven't yeah. even got a, a tool here, but no, if you've got one of those little you. tools that have got a brush on one. them, then uh, oh, I've got a brush a poker here. Tool. There's a Ooh. brush there. How about that one? And it has yeah. got a poker tool on the end of it, but. I was just going to find just a pokey tool. Um, and now, of course, um, add this cardstock in alongside your die cutting machine. You could spread the cost of the cardstock as well. So not only take advantage of that saving, but spreading it over two panes might make it a bit more affordable on your pocket. It'd be lovely as well, I think, this cardstock. If mm. you were doing, like, white on white Christmas cards. Yeah, definitely. Just, oh, I've just got that caught in one of those little curly cues as you've got so in yeah, there. So, yeah, these are go. coming out. You're just poking them out. Yeah. That is really pretty. It is I like really that. pretty. I like that. And as I say, with this pearlescent cardstock, I'd be using my inks over it. Yes, good point. Because it does create it. it any colour you put over it is going to be pearlescent. Look at that. Now I've made it. I kind of just manhandled the middle because <laughs> she's giving me a pokey tool. But can you spot the deliberate oh, yes. mistake? Yes, but there's, there's a no nice pokey bit. There's another one there. <laughs> I thought you just wanted the brush. No, that's fine. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, me manhandling it. You might see a few creases in the centre there. But that is beautiful. And as you've seen there, all cut with that wonderful machine. Now of course it's a, a thinner die, um, so quite intricate, but it still did the job. Still worked. Still worked. So. 
Shall the I actual, carry on with that yeah, for you? Yeah, just a little bit on that corner. So the size of the actual cutting area itself, so the, is, is it A5 we, we said, didn't yes, we? Yes, yeah. So it's A5 in size, so I don't know, to be honest, of any dies that I've got that are much bigger than that. Okay. I've got some squares that I know that I would mm -hmm. have to use my A5 with, but most, I'd say 96. 98% even mm -hmm. of my dies will go through Perfect. this machine. There you go. Now, we did have Mary email in at 9 o'clock this morning. She's come checking in on us. It's oh, good to have you company. Hello, Mary. Um, now, I don't blame you because she was interested um, in whether we'd be able to use it alongside the glimmer machine. And we found that it's just a few, it's a couple of millimetres. It's so not smidgy. even, it's just a smidgen yeah. too small, Yeah, not sure how big a smidgen is, but yeah. Um, um, so if you imagine this -like is, difference. yeah, so the glimmer is about that, but I don't know whether we can see where I'm pointing, really. So just but, over yeah. here, so yeah, it's just it's that just little smidgen that you've got there, so there's not yeah, it's much just, there. Yeah, you, it's just a little frustrating. bit frustrating, Which is frustrating, but thank however, you for checking I, in I know I can room. find and think of many, many ways I'd get round it, but wow. I wouldn't. You can't however, indoors that, but if you make yours fit, then it's up to you. Right, <laughs> so, so we've gone next. from a thin die. Yes. Okay. Let's go for a big die. I will add that in as well. That uh, yeah, if you do make any adjustments to any of your plates to make them fit, then it will um, affect your warranty. So yeah, well, just bear that in mind. Right. So this is a spell binder. It's a bit like a big die. Okay. Nice and thick. And the sandwich now is completely different. Okay. So you've got the different variety of plates because that is accommodating for those different yes. thicknesses. So now we're not going to need the platform because that's the chunkier bit. That's so the that chunkier bit. So that's going side. down there. Okay. Just pop that but then you're down introducing there. one of those thicker right. steel rule dies. So now I'm introducing a B plate. Okay. Which is. Um, the and other this is B the one plate. where you get two of the B plates. It is. Okay. Yes. So this is where you're going to need the other B plate. Lovely. So I'm going to pop my die down there. And this is a familiar sandwich right. that I've seen on other die cutting machines, so. where you kind of have your, your bigger, chunkier die, and then between two plates. Yeah. So okay. um, th that you know that was something when I first started die cutting, I didn't realise. I just went out and brought a die cutting machine. There are some fabric scissors here, by the way. So if you don't want oh, to use those, Joe Blessing is that <laughs> You don't like you. my hairdressing scissors. No, no. You, can, you don't cut your hair with those as well, do you? I used to. I don't anymore. <laughs> blunt as blunt can be. It. And I'm just going to pop there, and then we. Oh, there it is. And then I'm just going to pop that on there. Now that's one layer, in actual fact. I reckon it's going to cut through too. Well, earlier on we, we were quite brutal with the amount We've, of um, we have been brutal. That we through it. So, so yeah. this is great if you are a quilter or Good you're point. just getting into your sewing. Mm -hmm. A plique. A plique. A plique. Mm. I love a plique. So, oh, just look, look at, that. at that. That has now cut through both of those. I think that you probably could have pushed it and put more through if you'd wanted to, but two perfect cuts. You really are a rebel today. I am. <laughs> Honestly, what, do you know what she got me doing earlier? And I'm going to do it again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she took the whole roll. Yeah, so this is crate paper. Crate paper. And I think Whereas I was cutting it and I was folding it and I said, right, I've got eight sheets. What do you think? No, Hayley wasn't happy with that. Well, Hayley I said, like just viewers at home, cut. I want to know these things. Hayley just cut a bit off, so I've done it again. And I can't remember how many sheets we said there was there. Oh, gosh, I forget oh, now. Was it about well, 16 look, or something like that? Put it like this that. way, look. That's what it created. Um, okay. And this is crate paper. So bear in mind if you're doing it with tissue paper. I mean, that's even thinner, isn't it? So and this will do... Get even more. Um... The same, I would have said. You could still use your thin dies, but you'd only probably be able to get cut half of that amount. Well, what you do sometimes find is, and we found with the butterflies, that it compacts things through yes, when it, it goes through. So if you've got something that's intricate, it's more you separating those elements out mm -hmm. that's going to do the damage more. So it will cut through, but yes. it kind of fuses them together a little bit around the edges. So, I really would love to know how these work. <laughs> well, in here, you you kind of got, you, you've got a blade in there which is look. kind of supported with the foam, but look at all of those layers there. Yeah. Ready? There's a lot in there. So if you're doing birthday parties, if you've got weddings and you're wanting to think, well, I want to create, I don't know, confetti. Well, that's it. If you've got a, a petal-shaped die, that you could also be doing like rose petals, couldn't you? Yeah hair pieces. I mm. love this one. 
I was going to do it again, but they're just not going to. There's loads in there. There's absolutely loads. loads. Absolutely All loads. All with one pass. I think there's more than 16 there. Now, Nikki, I am going to let you continue and get okay. some, some of the bits and pieces together to share with us. While you guys are going to give you a little bit of a review. This is your bundle. This is what you've got. It's your monthly mega deal. Same monthly, but you know and I know they don't always last a full month. And with this one, with over half of the stock having gone, I wouldn't be surprised if it goes sooner than the month. Um, 964 729. It's going to get you your die cutting machine. It's going to get you all those fabulous plates. And it gives you some goodies to get started with. You've got your little stars embossing folder and your happy birthday. Day. Um, not only is your sentiment, but also those little candles as well. All for that fabulous price with the £20 saving. Just think, you could be treating yourself to more dyes from this hour. Now, if it couldn't get any better, we've got Flexi Buy on this one, which means that for that first payment of £25 plus your post and packing, this will be on its way to you. Delivered to your door for £25 if you are a Freedom member. And then your second payment will come out in the month's time. And incidentally, if you're watching from Europe or America even, that is exactly the same price if you're a freedom member and there's quite a weight to that machine again it could be winging its way to you very soon all you need is to place your order as soon as you can but before you check out your basket think about storage think about what you're going to do with all those die cuts when you cut them out well this is the perfect way for you to store them so they are pristine for the next time that you come along now we're going to look at the clear option to start with details have popped up on your screen already you've got that fabulous storage um, storage box and you can see within here you have got all all of those individual little boxes, each one of them having their own independent little lock system on there to mean that when you actually pull them out, you have got access to those die pieces. Now, it doesn't have to be your pre-cut dies that you're popping in there. They could be bobbins, they could be threads, they could be dies themselves. Um, now, oh, I don't know whether they'd be deep enough for embossing powders. I don't know. We'd have to check that out. We might try that in a little while. Um, but you've got a whole series of these. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. They all pop in there. You've got your little container there, as you can see. They're all going to fit in nice and neatly. And, of course, you can close that box up and take that. And if you're wanting to stack these, then you could do now Nikki bless her she has bought in some embossing powders I think it might be a little bit yeah, too but you big. could lay them like yeah. that and That's store fine. them crossways oh we haven't got an empty one you have been filling oh, these up been Nikki busy. you've been busy 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 let's pop that one in there and try that way. Ooh. Oh, I'm not even going to go in just that way. A, just a little bit oh, too big. Oh, that's a shame. It is a shame, but some... Oh, oh these are nice. <laughs> well, we're just kind of doing, the, doing those tests for you. Of course, if you want to decant any of them into smaller pots, then you could perhaps do that. But, um, yeah, all of those come in that fabulous container with that lid, which is going to close it up. As you can see there, $17.99, as we've mentioned, nine days additional de um, delivery with these ones because they are in um, the Netherlands at the moment. You can see there all your dimensions there, giving you the sizes of each of those boxes and your overall box there. 997222 if you want to know. But I'm going to bring this other one in to share with you because this particular one is where we are talking about lots and lots of colours. So here you have got the same quantity of boxes, but look at that rainbow of colours. So all of these are exactly the same size, but it might be that you want to go for colour coordinate. It might be that yellow are going to be your um, die cut elements. It might be that you put them into the purple there when you've got the stamped images on there. It might be certain styles of flowers going into certain ones. It might be certain celebrations for a certain colour. It's up to you. You are going to get all of these within this box. And, of course, they all go back in nice and neatly. Whoops, the daisy, that one's running away. That one can go in there as well. Close that lid up and away. There you go and as you can see there they do stack so if you did want to put more than one on your bookshelves then you can do details for the colored one being on the bottom side of your screen as you can see there and if you want to go for your clear they are at the bottom but you might be interested in seeing our bumper bundle because within this one you have got 16 of those boxes all in this highly portable case it's beautiful because you've got a carry case on there it means you can take everything with you um, and then all you need to do is open it up like so that will allow you to take open the box and have a look at all these goodies in here you have now got 16 storage containers in here eight different colors two repeats of each of those and they slot in beautifully as you see and of course that means that you can decant them take out the elements that you're wanting and of course pop them in when you finish might be that you are putting some 
putting dies in there. It might be that you're putting stamps in there. It could be a pre die kit. Um, your die kit elements just waiting for you to add your colour. But you are going to get all 16 of those for £39.99. Again, okay, we're talking extended delivery with this one. So do just bear that in mind. Again, coming from the Netherlands, but you can see there what a fabulous collection of storage boxes there. 257997. Now, of course, lots of the items we've been talking about are on um, a flexi buy. So there's lots of ways that you can get involved. Um, all you need to do is place these items in your basket and, well, rather than me tell you about this, who have we got telling you about this? Fiona. Have a look at this. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is flexi order? When you place an item on flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your flexi buy payments so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a flexi order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly flexi buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Certainly does. And if you're a bit like me and you want everything now, we can't quite manage now. <laughs> I like but the way you say that, now. Oh, wait, now. Oh, no. wait, now. I, I want it, yeah. yeah. I don't know where I, I want it, it now. I want it. <laughs> exactly. But of course, it cuts down on that time that you're waiting because you can get everything in one go. And adding so many things into your basket makes it easier, yes. doesn't it? Definitely. And I know lots of you adding these into your baskets. We've got two happy ideals for you in this hour, and this one is proving to be one of the most popular ones because we've got two different styles of cardstock. You can see there your latte shimmer with that gorgeous uh, pearlescent shimmer and shine there, and then you have got your um, ice gold. Now, your latte is 250 GSM, and your ice gold is 210, so it's slightly lighter weight, but that's beautiful because when you've got that pearlescent finish, it really shows off things beautiful. like embossing. It does, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah. So I'm actually going to try the embossing folder that we've got with the cut and glue. Oh, okay. Pro. So this comes, it's kind of like a bit of a bonus that you get with the die cutting machine. So this is the, is it the latte? The, yeah, um, this particular one's the ice, um, the, the ice gold. Oh, the so ice the latte gold. Is the, oh, I don't know. Yes, it is the ice gold. Mm. It's kind of got different, oh, perhaps it's that one. Oh, let's come out the other bundle. Sh should we, should we try oh, oh, let's choose one of those, Nikki? Any card. I'll go any for card. That one. So, <laughs> so this I'm, is 210, isn't it? Because it's the lighter of the two. It is, but this is still a good weight to actually make your um, base cards with as well. Okay. And it's perfect for die cutting. This is what I would probably say about 200, 210 is what I use to do all my decorative die cutting with. So with this one, I need my base plate back on there. So that's the white. you need to white. build up that void again. Exactly. Okay. So that's that. And then I need my B plate. Lovely. And then I'm going to need my other B plate. That's right, isn't it? Um, I think it might be the, the it might slightly be the thicker C one. Ah. Well, just put that through. Well, we'll I've try. Because it's the, the thing C is, plate. it isn't going to budge if it's if it's wrong and it's not going to budge. Okay. So it's the it, it, oh, B plate. the B plate. It, then. It's I the do two B plates. That's fine. We've got so many B, C's, A's, and it's, yeah. It's Thank just, goodness we haven't got any more letters to work our way it's through. Just oh, knowing, there you go. There we go. It's knowing and it's just getting used to it because there are some embossing folders that are a little bit deeper as well. That's a good point. They're like the three-dimensional yes. ones, the 3D ones. Mm. Good point. Good point. Right, I'm just going to bring but that you know back instantly, again. As soon as you're trying to put it in, you know if you've got that resistance, you know to stop. Exactly. That was well, easy. That and that just its own. Round. <laughs> right. You ready? Okay. Oh, look, Ooh, at that. look at that. That's effective. That is nice. Look what I'd at like that. to do, can I just add some ink on there so I can show she everyone can. how she can. the ink 
Oh, knocking everything over. <laughs> You're right then. It la they landed on my bag, so Lovely. it's fine. Um, now we are working with the Happy Ideal. Mm. Details of which brought back up on the screen. You've got two different styles of cardstock. Mickey's working with the ice gold, and you're going to get 50 sheets of that. It's 210 GSM. In addition, you are going to get 200 sheets of your latte shimmer. That one's slightly heavier weight, but either of those are going to fit through your machine perfectly. And you've got a 20 pounds and two pence saving on this, bringing it down to less than a tenner. Six one two three. Five, seven. So I'm going to use a few, couple of different colours. These are just oxides. Okay. But you'll see that, oh wow, you still get that shine on it as well. And with the oxides, you can go over with the colour. I'm just going to wipe that off because I haven't got another. I'm going to use a bit of green. This is lovely cardstock, I have yeah. to say. This would actually, I think, make me get all my embossing folders out that we tend to sometimes put in the cupboard and forget mm -hmm. because this is There's loads of techniques beautiful. with embossing folders. It's like letterpress where you put the ink on the inside before you put your cardstock through. And, and then what I'll do is we'll hold that up in a second. Look, and then now look at the that shimmer. shimmer. Look at that. It's as though I've used some shimmer powders on yeah. it. Yeah, that is really nice. It's so easy to do. Wow, look at that pink. And when you, th I mean, how much does that work out a sheet? Is that? Um, well, you're looking at well, it's a, a hundred sheets, uh, ten pence. Yeah, yeah. So that's what pin. you would buy, you'd spend on a good quality cardstock to do your inking and mm. stuff with. Agreed. Yeah, but without the pearlescent. But without the pearlescent. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that is point. that is a really really. That's why you're loving it. The details are on your screen. Six one two three five seven. That price will go up at two o'clock this afternoon. So take advantage while you can. And if you want to go for multiples, you can do. Another bundle that we have got that is proving to be popular again is another happy adult. Bear with. Now this one, you've got two different colour tones. You've got oyster and you've got your wedding ivory. You can see it's quite a bumper bundle and you've got ranges from your paper, um, as you can see there, that wedding ivory going right the way through. So it's going from your 120, which is perfect for your inserts perhaps, perfect for printing from your CD ones as well. And then you've got your heavier weight going right the way through to your 300 GSM there. You've got loads in here. And if you are wanting to get hold of this one, again, 220 sheets there. 082830 if you're wanting that. It's quite a weighty bundle, actually. Can I put it down now? <laughs> right, you. I've cleaned up my desk. Now I've made a mess. <laughs> Sorry, we don't that that. I do bit. love that. That really is nice. So you do get that embossing folder with the actual machine you itself. You do indeed. So, again, a great machine if you're just starting out in crafting yes, as yeah. well. Right. So I've just taken, and this is a big sty, and I think it's a bag. Okay. okay. So I've got me thinking, well, you'd have to cut the side of the bag twice. Hmm. But because the machine will take this, I can put two pieces of cardstock on. So that's okay. the B. Now I've completely forgot which it's the B. I think and B, it's two isn't B's. It? It's two, two B's. B's. To B or not to B? Two B's. B. And B that's where that one fell on the floor. Okay. So the cardstock that I'm using as well is the Anna Griffin that we've got oh, on the show. Oh, we've got this on the show as well, yeah. Um, oh, again, that oh, that satisfying crunch. Um, yep, yeah, so if you're wanting the cardstock, you've got 108 sheets there. Beautiful quality, beautiful selection as well. Have a look at this. You've got your solids to work alongside those kind of uh, decorative papers there. 650465. We'll show you that a little bit later on, but if you want yours, just 14 99 hey, This is ooh. lovely as well because it is double-sided, so when you are making your little gift bag, it's great so I've cut out so I've got both sides and I'm not going to put it together because obviously we're not selling that we're selling the machine the and thing everything is, else it's cut out two pieces cut, exactly. so instantly you've got a gift bag I've cut both sides out I just wanted to show you how you put it together Mm, that side, that side. Mm. Embossed beautifully on both as well. Yeah. That's important as well, and isn't that it? That is really good weight card. It is. Doing that as two yeah, layers. It's cardstock, wow. not yeah. um, whatever. I have we're, no idea how to put it together. We're it's not cheating. We've got thicker cardstock that you're working with, but that's what you'll do when you'll get it home. You'll want to make sure that you are able to use yeah. all your cardstock. I just can't get over the price that you get in a full-size die cutting machine. 
and you could be getting it for just £25 today. If you're a Freedom today, member, there's yes. no additional post yeah. unpacking, but you're getting that embossing mm -hmm. folder and dies. So if you've got somebody maybe that's been dropping hints, or maybe well, just want to drop down that item number and kind of leave it next to a cup of coffee and a chocolate hobnob or something, um, <laughs> and kind of write Christmas on the bottom and a little heart maybe, um, then this is going to be a brilliant die cutting machine to go for because it's so affordable. Of course, you can go for it all in one go if you don't want to spread the cost, uh, but at less than £50 for a comprehensive die cutting machine that is going to last and last and mm -hmm. last and you'll be able to use perhaps to change the way that you craft to give you that option and I think that's the key thing with with a die cutting machine I, I use the word compromise because it is that say if I saw these in a pack yeah might have 24 yes. of them in a pack but I might okay. be looking at them thinking, well, actually, I don't want pink, I want purple. Mm -hmm. I can go and get purple cra um, crepe paper and make and my make, own. And make your own, yes. It might be In that minutes. I'm wanting to do little flowers. I mean, look at that, just with those felt, and you could make a little, put them could on a hairband, you can put it on a card, you can make a decorate a box with it. Uh, you're cutting out multiple felt. layers yeah. with these. Quilting as well. Think about your quilting dies. We do a whole range of quilting dies that are available, again, out there as those um, bigger, chunkier dies. Here you can see multiple layers of fabric have been put through to mm. cut out all those pieces. And, of course, it saves you time when you're stitching those together. The sewing is the fun bit. That's the bit that we want to do. The exactly. cutting the is cutting, the chore. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Gosh, I'm going back quite a few years ago now. Before I even got into paper crafting, I was doing sewing. So I made okay. curtains, I made cushions, and I did attempt to do some quilting. <laughs> but we didn't have all this fancy. We didn't have when well, we had made it all out. Everything had to be done mm -hmm. by hand, mm -hmm. and that put me off. I'm well, afraid. You it totally put me rotary off. Rotary cutters can be tricky to work with. I know Hayley Smith doesn't like working with them because she's had a couple of nasty accidents with them. But it means that when you're actually working with a die, you can cut out multiple pieces and save yourself mm. the time. You yes. next. Well, you were just saying about the material, but you could also use it for your mixed media as well. Ooh, so this is, is like a, a vinyl. I have no idea what it is. Is it's that like, the stuff that you put on a table? It is. Like it's a table like protector. yeah. But that's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, you know when the children mm -hmm. make a mess on the nice like little wood. table. And then I've got this one that's a like a hessian like a hessian yeah. burlap maybe. Yeah. And then I'm going to pop them both together. So what we'll do is we'll just bring this over here. Wonderful. So you're swapping the machine in and out, and it's, it's not like you're having to no, lift it and struggle and dump it down somewhere, you know, just one-handed. Because I have so much space taken up on my table, and I have a big table, I have my A4 electronic die cutter machine on a chair next to mm -hmm. me because I got so fed up with having to get up off the chair and moving it. And I just ran out of space. But to have a smaller version that something that's going to do all my decorative die cutting for me, right next to me, is what we need. It's easy. Definitely. Right, so what should we use? What do you want to cut out with it? Oh, I don't know. Do what, want what else to, have we got? What have we got? Mm. I don't know what chunky dies we've got. What about bows? bows? Let's, Let's look at the bows. Because this one's multiple layers. So, so this is different. Perhaps use them to create like a, um, a mixed media style bow to go on a journal or a planner or, um, well, it could be anything, it could go onto a box. you kind of got that wood theme with that um, wonderful is, yeah. um, kind of vinyl effect. So I'm going to put the hessian down first, okay. then I'm going to put the wood effect. And the thing is, is, you know, obviously you may be watching this and you may be thinking, but I don't have the big dies. I don't mm -hmm. have those thick dies. It still is going to come into its own because you are going to you be able to use thicker cardstock. Mm -hmm. You aren't going to have to be thinking, oh, I've got to get more shim in there. It's not die cutting. You've got the shim with it. In that metal shim. And just look at that, Hayley. Oh, wow. Cut through both layers to perfection. Oh my goodness. That and is beautiful. And trust me, and I know you'll say it as well, that I don't know how many die cutting machines mm. on the market, but would you agree they are not all as good as each other? No, some because you were talking about the different amounts of pressure some of them yeah. all have. Some, yeah, some of them, the more the pressure is more in the centre, some of them are at the ends. And like I try to explain to you, if I'm doing a decorative die, I find that the smaller die cutting machine is more compact with the pressure, mm -hmm. so you're more likely to get a good die cut the first time yeah. 
than you are with the bigger ones mm -hmm. as well. There we go. Details are up on your screen. If you want to take advantage of yours and get it on its way to you, then you use these details. 964729. I'm going to give you a little bit of a break yeah, and step away from me for a few moments. Um, storage, lots of you are in the mood for getting organised. So, um, yeah, if you want to use storage, we can help you with this. So, you have got your fabulous sets, as you can see there. So, uh, lots and lots for you to consider. You've got your plain coloured, as you can see on your screen there, um, 997222. Um, so, if you want to take advantage of those, please get them into your basket. They are the clear version, but, of course, we have got that colour version as well. Now, if you're thinking, well, six, isn't it? enough for me I could do with let me think about 16 of them well there you go these are all going to fit in that fabulous storage case as you can see two repeats of each of those eight colors and the fabulous carry um, folder as you can see there um, and that's 39 pounds and 99 pence two flexi buys again on that one um, extended delivery because it's coming over from Holland so uh, nine days with regards to that but some things that I've not had a chance to tell you about are these now Mention the name of Anna Griffin and that's it. Your ears prick up as a crafter because you know you've got quality. And that's exactly what we've got in this bundle here. But not only just quality papers, 12 by 12s, you've got three-dimensional stickers. You've also got tags and baker's twine to work with this. Now, you can see very much a nautical theme with this. Um, and I do like the idea of this. The stickers that you're looking at at the moment, these are three-dimensional. So if I twist that to the side, look at the dimension that you've got with those. Beautiful. Um, of course, you've got those. Then you've got your cardstock. Your cardstock has got kind of like a metallic finish to it as well, almost foiling, as you can see. Um, and the beauty is that many of these papers and card, you don't have to choose between one side or the other because they're plain on one side. And I must admit, when you get a nice print like that, I do worry about not using one of them. Now, I've got the 12 by 12s here, and these are beautiful. Mixture of paper and cardstock with these, so it depends on what you're creating. But look at that. Fabulous print. Looks like geomet uh, geometric show. Very clever design because it looks like kind of that, that rope is running through. So you almost want to trace it. It's like a maze. Where's it going? Where's it starting? Like that. Um, the little ships as well, as you can see, they're all sailing boats. Again, a lovely colour palette with these. Oh, now, this is interesting. Larger pieces with this one, so you could actually be fussy cutting some of these as well. You see it at chins in there, different styles of shells in there. Oh, now, this is a nice one because this one is foiled, and you can see there you've got your little seahorses. But again, there's enough room for you to isolate these areas if you want them to use them as individual embellishments. Oh, that one makes my eyes go a bit funny. We'll get off that one quickly, but they're very effective. Um, oh, look at that. That's nice as well. It's all about quality with these. Now, you have got repeats of some of those designs in there, so when you do come to use them, um, I know sometimes we're quite frugal because you'll go to use a cardstock, and if you've only got one sheet, it's like, I don't want to cut it up, I don't want to use it. But with this one, you've got more than one repeat of them. $24.99. It is a fabulous deal, and it's proven to be a very popular one. 109056. I like the idea of using some of those, perhaps in a nautical-themed bathroom, perhaps you're using those, uh, or maybe you've um, been on a sailing trip, or maybe you've been on a ferry. It could be whatever you've been. Uh, maybe you've got a boat. Mm, not much use for a boat in Redditch, I must admit. A bit landlocked. Um, 109056 if you want in those. But... What about a bumper bundle with all sorts in here? And this is nice because you've kind of got smaller size pieces. So if you're not into your 12 by 12s, I would seriously consider these. But these are fabulous. Double-sided cards up, but then you can use it, make it into a card base if you want to. Using it in with your journaling or your memory albums. And, of course, you're going to see the flip side of these as well. And each one of these, you've got double-sided, but multiple repeats of them. So it's not like you're sacrificing all of those one particular style. You can see there you've got um, a mixture of your planes in there, where you've got your planes that are perfectly coordinated colour tone-wise brilliant with these but again good size pieces now you're getting 108 of these including some solid tones there you can see tone on tone with those they'd be fabulous to work with your embossing folders but you could actually um sand some of that back as well if you want to don't know, I think it might have a white core. Oh, I don't know if it's got a white core or not. I better not tear it. It might get into trouble. Uh, but you've got loads within there. $14.99 if you're wanting 108 sheets there. Brilliant value for money. 650 
five now what about some dyes well we've had sellouts with regards to some of the dyes that we've brought to you over the monthly mega deal shows and this is a lovely set that we still have available for you and it's nice because it's edges so with regards to these these are going to allow you to do decorative edges in a variety of different styles on your cardstock and drop this in just to show you so you could be taking maybe one of those pieces of cardstock the Anna Griffin ones and actually use them and making a decorative edge like so on your memory albums it could be that you're cutting directly into the card stock with one set or maybe you're going to be using the other now the beauty of this particular one is you kind of got a double cut because of course it's going to cut out one shape but then it will leave a shape behind and that's the beauty of this so this could be a tab that's going on the um, a, a record card or something like that or maybe you're going to be making gatefold cards and actually creating shapes within there 14.99 if you're wanting this duo set but you've got five dies for you sorry seven dies featuring in here you need to be quick it's proved to be a very popular bundle and um, 318990 over 60 percent of the stock has gone off that one and once it's gone that's it we've got no additional stock of it that is your lot um, and 318990 just one more to share with you um useful sentiments here happy birthday best wishes and li um, live life <laughs> live it could be live or live 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 almost looks like five as well in other words, with that combination of letters. Um, 058099, again, really nice style with these ones, good size fonts, um, and perfect at that price there, better than half price deal, just a tenner for all three of those, 058099. What else can I share with you? Well, have a look at these. These are something a little bit different. Now, these are nice because you've got kind of like a framework with your sentiments attached to it. Perfect if you're making your smaller cards, but also beautiful if you are wanting to create a sentiment to go on a card. So use it as a topper. Um, you've got things like with deeply sympathy featuring in there. Um, you've got sending lots of good wishes, which is always a nice one. Um, a nice base for your cards and they're perfect to work with your die cutting machine. 24 dollars 583 